Frank Kaminsky, represent the student athletes of Wisconsin. Bo Ryan, the head coach, is with us as well. We're going to have him make a statement about the game, and then we'll have questions for all four gentlemen for Wisconsin. Bo, please. Uh, well, we're just very pleased to represent uh, the Big Ten and our university in the Sweet 16. Uh, these guys definitely have had the kind of season where they've they've earned every inch of this. So hopefully we can go out to L.A. and get something done. But I'm very proud of these guys. That was a tough game, uh, pretty physical. Some things got away from us, but we were able to corral our all our talents and get it done. So we'll take questions. Hold on, can't hear. Okay. Just talk a little bit about that 6 0 but, run and how but she can't. decisive. Hello. <laughs> we good? Um, well, basketball, a lot of times, is a game of runs. Um, you know, Oregon made their run to fight back. You know, I think we established a pretty good lead early in the first half, but, you know, as a good team always does, they're going to come out and make a run, and the good teams are the ones that can respond to those runs, and um, I think there might have been a timeout in there somewhere, and, uh, you know, coaches told us to settle in, and we have guys that aren't going to get too riled up. You know, we're just going to, you know, stay the course and, and play our basketball. We got a big 6-0 run there, like you said, and uh, opened up the lead. Got a few stops and uh, held it on from there. So it's a game of runs, and uh, just got to be able to respond at the right times. This question's for uh, Coach Ryan and Sam. Uh, Coach Ryan, you called a timeout just as Sam was 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 throwing down a dunk. You called the timeout, then then they hit a three. What what was what was the process there in calling that timeout, and then and then then the three point on that possession. That's all. And we got it. instead of getting two, and he might have hurt himself on the dunk. He gets a three. I had called the timeout as soon as Josh got the ball. And so by the time the ref had blown the whistle, there was a little bit of noise because there was a turnover, I think, in there. So, and then uh, Sam was open for a reason. I think they saw me call timeout. Should I just speak up? Oh, okay. At first, I was kind of, I kind of gave coach the look. Like, what are you doing? But um, I knew he I knew he had called earlier. He's like, no, I called it earlier. Um, but, yeah, we just set up our offense again, and uh, someone got me a nice fade screen. I was able to step off. He went the wrong way on it, and Josh found me for a good pass, and I was able to knock it down. And, um, yeah, so get, getting one more point. Uh, maybe, maybe Coach knew something that I didn't, and uh, the basketball gods, you know, worked in our favor there. On the play before, Frank had, didn't leave his feet the way he normally does. He looked tired. And I said, as soon as we get the ball again, I'm going to call the timeout. So that was, yeah, that was the reason for the timeout. <clears throat> On the left. Yeah, Frank, uh, they, the, a lot was made of the size advantage you guys had against uh, Oregon. What were they able to do to kind of, um, I guess, neutralize that? Because they, they out-rebounded you guys. and. Uh, and some other stats uh, were ahead of you as well? Um, you know, I knew they were going to throw a lot of different things at us. Um, we knew they'd play a matchup zone. We knew they were going to throw um, double teams and triple teams and pressure us up and down the court. You know, that's their style. Um, you know, and when that happens, there's bound to be a lot of missed shots. So, um, you know, they got good athletes on their team, people who can go and get the ball. So they were just able to do that tonight. You know, the rebounding margin's not huge. You know, there's not a big difference, but... Um, you know, when when there's a game like that and there's a lot of shots going up, you know there's going to be a lot of rebounds, and they were able to just get more. Stay on the left. Go. Zach, can you talk about your contribution and what it means to, in such a big stage in this situation to be able to do it, and Sam as well, about what Zach brought to the team tonight for you guys? Yeah, I mean, just always trying to stay ready. Uh, I, I know some things have been said about our bench through the year, and I mean, we, I, we want to prove ourselves and be ready. So me and Duye and Vito are always ready on the bench. Uh, so I think tonight uh, I got some good minutes in the first half. I knew, I knew going into this game, Josh and B might get in some foul trouble because Joe Young is that good of a player. Uh, so I was, I was prepared, and it felt good to get in the first half, get com more comfortable, and then 
by the second half, I was ready. And when I got the ball, we worked on that drill so many times where we catch it, ball fake to the corner. And if the defender goes to the corner, which he did, yeah. excuse me, uh, and he leaves me, I'm wide open, ready to, t ready to take the shot. So I was ready. Yeah, well, <coughs> Coach Elliott. Okay, yeah. Um, well, Coach always preaches, you know, add. You know, when you come into the game, you know, whether you're starting you get, and you come out and you go back in, add, or if you're a bench player coming in, add something, add energy, whatever, rebound, deflection. And, and Showy's just a warrior. He battles. Um, doesn't care if he scores. Doesn't care how many fouls he picks up. He knows he has to come in and play de good defense, get deflections, and, and scrap. But, um, you, know, <clears throat> you know, him being my roommate, you know, I see how much he gets in the gym and shoots. Uh, gets goes and works on his offensive game, uh, so he's got that element to his game. He, we just don't always use him in it, and um, you know we, we put him in for you know just energy. But tonight he got a few good looks on the offensive end, was able to cut and use athleticism for a layup, and then um, you know hit a big shot and then chase Joe Young around. It's not an easy task, so uh, I thought he came in and did a great job for us. Hey Frank, uh, being a senior, you guys have gone to the uh, to the Sweet 16. Uh, you know, like four of the last five years now. Uh, how do you look at that accomplishment? Is it something that is to be celebrated, or when you guys are so regularly able to do that, I guess, how do you kind of look at, at getting there? Um, it's definitely a satisfying feeling. Um, you know, getting to, you know, the last 16 teams left in college basketball is obviously a good thing. Um, you know, but we're a one seed for a reason. We have a good team this year. Um, we have a good body of work, so... You know, we're going into games, you know, expecting to compete and play hard and, um, you know, come out on top. So um, when you get to a stage like this, you know, we were able to do it last year. You know, we've seen it before. We know what it takes. We know what we need to do, um, you know, on and off the court. So when you have that recipe for success with people in front of you, um, with the upperclassmen who instilled it in us, um, you just know what it takes and you know what to do. And, you know, we have a great program and great coaches and great, you know, people on this team that really know what it's like to win. And, you know, that, that, that just makes it so much easier on us. Standing up. Um, for Sam and Frank, how well did you guys, do you think you played today? And what was the key to grinding this one out? And also the two steal sequence, one by Frank, one by Josh, can you address that as well? Sam, you first, please. <clears throat> well, you know, the first half I wasn't playing up to my capabilities. Um, you know, I, was, I got kind of out of sync and started trying to force some stuff. And, um, you know, coach, coach took me out and just said, and, and the assistants just said, hey, just keep with it. Just let that go. Um, don't try to do too much. And then at halftime, they said the same thing, kind of pulled me off to the side and we came out of the locker room and uh, they told me that half's over with, just play your game and be you. And, um, you know, when I'm myself, I, I can do some good things. Uh, so I just let the game come to me and just put up some shots with confidence and try to be a little more aggressive. And then, um, yeah, those two steals that we got, you know, those are big. And those are by two leaders of our team. Um, you know, you, we, I feel like Josh and Frank are always getting their hands on stuff and, um, you know, just making differences in the game. You know, Josh doesn't always have the box score, box score stats, but uh, he's going to do those little things that help a team win, and every team needs those type of guys. And, um, you know, Josh, once again, you know, makes a big play for us, turns the tide, and, um, you know, just gives us, some, gives us some good momentum. Um, just trying to make a play. Uh, that's what it came down to. You know, when they cut the score, tied the game, um, we knew we needed to, you know, get a play to get us going. Um, you know, get stops on defense and try to score the ball. Uh, make a smart play. You know, I was getting tired of them scoring off the ball screens. So, um, you know, I, I was able, and you know, I was lucky enough to be in the situation where I was able to get a steal, and then Josh came down and got another one, and it kind of really helped us win that game. Piff. Bo, Oregon obviously did a lot of things to try to speed you guys up. I guess from your vantage point on the sideline, how reassuring is it to have guys who don't look like they get sped up? I thought we sped them up because um, when we were beating their pressure, they had to quickly recover and, uh, you know, man up. Uh, the speed of the game, that's, that's not an issue for us. This was for Zach. I apologize if you've been asked this before, but what, what was the key for you today, your contributions across the board? Yeah, I was just saying I got, I got comfortable as the game went on and as I was on the court some more. Uh, Bronson, I knew I was going to get in foul trouble. I already went over this a little bit, but I was just ready to go in and make the big play. And I mean, that's what I dream about. That's what any kid dreams about, knocking down a big shot in the, in the NCAA tournament. So to be able to do that was, was awesome. We are halfway through the session. Questions right here on the left. Yeah, 
Bo, just could you uh, just go over a little bit about what what lies in front of you now, going out to Los Angeles and playing a team like North Carolina? Well, I mean, first of all, we're just going to enjoy this, and you know, our our assistants have their scouts. Um, we have a coach that has all all the stuff ready for whoever won um, their game. So we'll we'll get all that put together. Uh, it's already put together, but we'll get we'll disseminate that information to our players through our iPads and uh, you know get our scout team ready. But it is a little bit difficult. We've got, we have the late game. They're going to send us home. We're going to get these guys in bed by 2, 3 o'clock. Um, they have class tomorrow. And then, uh, so we, uh, we'll be off our feet tomorrow. We're not going to practice tomorrow. Uh, the, all the other three teams that are going out to California were finished yesterday. Um, I just find that kind of curious uh, why, why this is the way it is. But I'm sure with the logistics, this is what happens. So um, we'll, we'll, we won't have as much preparation time as our opponent, but we'll just have to run a little faster. In the back and the right. I guess uh, Coach kind of alluded to uh, what I was going to ask you guys about um, so for the players, just that quick turnaround. And, uh, you know, you go through such a grueling time out in Chicago with the three, and it's so late here now. Um, how much of a disadvantage is that for you guys, uh, you know, with only a few days, really? Zach, you first, and then Frank, please. I got three exams next week that aren't going to be very fun. <laughs> so I just got to, I mean, I've studied a little bit while I've been here, and Monday I'm going to study a lot and try to take care of it and get ahead in some classes. Um, you know, we've been through things like this before. How many classes you have? I have like four classes. Um, I'm kidding. I don't have any. Uh, <laughs> but I have one. Um, but, you know, we know what it takes. You know, it, it's the time of the year where back, basketball is our main focus. We're, we're student athletes, but, um, you know, this is the biggest time of the year for us for basketball. So, um, you know, we know with a quick turnaround it's not going to be easy, but, you know, we have guys on our team who are smart enough to know how to take care of themselves and take care of their schoolwork. So, We'll be fine. Anything else for Wisconsin? All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Best of luck.